All right, guys, welcome back. So continuing on our series of learning our basic jump rope skills. You've done your bounce step for 100 unbroken reps. Awesome. You've done your alternating foot step for 100 reps. Also awesome. And now you've just done 100 unbroken high knee steps. Super awesome. We're going to combine those three together and we do what we call our baseline testing. When you hear about jump rope intensity, you often hear it compared to running on a treadmill or running on outside somewhere. The way that that's actually gauged is how fast you're jumping. And that's what we're going to determine here by doing our baseline testing with those three basic jumps. With the bounce step, you want to grab your timer and you want to set a timer for 30 seconds work. I like to use the round timer. It's a free app that you can get at the app store. Nice and simple and easy to use. You're going to set the working time for 30 seconds and the rest time for 60 seconds. Okay, so that's already set up here for us. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. Now what we're going to have to do is you're going to have to count your reps for the 30 seconds. And then we're going to do a little bit of math and we're going to figure out how fast you're actually moving. And this is going to be a great way to measure the intensity of your jump rope training program. As you get better and you get more skills, you're going to jump faster and faster. And as you're going to see, you're going to get a pretty darn good workout by doing just these three simple jumps. So without further ado, you're going to take your rope. Make sure that we're starting always with the rope behind the knees. Okay, the bounce step is just, again, the two feet working at the same time, jumping over the rope, nice and simple. Count your reps as we go. So follow along with me. If you need a little bit of extra rest afterwards, feel free, pause the video, get your breath back, and we'll go back into it. You're doing each of these three times, and we're gonna take the average over those three. We're gonna do a little bit of math that we're gonna put up on the screen to help you how to calculate it so you can get a good, accurate reading. All right, so we're gonna start with the rope behind the knees. I'm gonna hit my timer. Hopefully it gives me enough. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. All right, Whew. so I got 95. So you're gonna write down 95 on your piece of paper there. Take a little break. Whew. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna stare at each other for the next 45 seconds while you catch your breath. You think about all the cool things you've done. Think about all the fun things you're learning. Think about how awesome you're gonna feel when you get through the entire baseline testing. And now we stare at each other. Don't blink. Oh, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, guys, 25 seconds. <clears throat> so again, I got 95, and whatever you got, great. Just write it down, we're gonna do that two more times. All right, 15 seconds, 12 seconds. This is just to give you enough time to get your breath back so you can go back into a full force. Here we go, five second countdown. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Oof. Oh, lucky again, I got ninety five. So under my first score, I'm going to write my second score. 95 over 95. And that's two out of the three total rounds that we're going to do this for. And we got 45 seconds to rest. Whew. Catch your breath. Play another game of stare eyes. I'm just kidding. Yes, yeah, rest up. Shake it out. If you want to, stretch out the calves a little bit. Shake out the shoulders. Whew. Grab a sip of water. Maybe text your mom or a loved one. I don't know. But we've got 25 seconds left to kill. And then we do this one more time, and then we're going to calculate the average of our jump. 20 seconds, 19. And again, make sure we keep the chest up, elbows in, pushing the thumbs down to maximize the speed of our rotations. 
Stay jumping over the rope because getting hit by it doesn't feel all that great, as we know. Here we go, five seconds. Chest up. Two, one, go. Yeah, all right, I improved on that one. So I got 96. So now we're gonna do a little bit of math within the next 50 seconds. So you're gonna take the 95, 95, and the 96. You're gonna add all three of those together and then divide by three. And that's gonna give you your average reps per second. Okay? Whew, 40 seconds. So let's see here. Gives me a total of 286. I'm gonna divide that by three to get 95.3. I'm gonna divide that number by 30, because we jumped for 30 seconds, and I got 3.17, rounded up to 3.2. What that means is that every one second that went by, I was able to get over the rope three and a bit times. So now you're gonna to start to see that when you get between three and four reps per second, the intensity goes way up. And this is the metric that we use to gauge that intensity. All right, so starting the timer over again, because that signified the end of the rest. Okay guys, you just calculated your baseline jump rope average for the bounce step. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the alternating foot step. Remember the alternating foot step is the foot coming up about five to six inches off the ground, not full hip flexion right up the high part of the knee, just keeping it down here. And again, making it easy to count, count just the right leg and then double that number when we get to the end. Make sense? All right guys, here we go. So you set up your timer, still for 30 seconds work, put a 60 second time in there for the rest, just to give you time to recalibrate and do your math. All right, here we go. Boop. Okay, alternate footstep, baseline, number one, two, and go. Okay, I got 52, Whew. Now when I double that, I get 104. So write down 104. Whew. You can already tell just by picking the knees up a little bit, it really starts to increase the intensity and therefore increases our cardio training or VO2 max training. <sighs> All right, good stuff. Whew. Whew. Shake out the legs, stay nice and loose. 30 more seconds, we're doing this two more times. Just waiting for that time to go by. Now at first you might find you might be huffing and puffing a little bit more, but as you do this more and more, just like anything else, you will become better conditioned, your stamina goes up and your endurance goes up, and also your skill set goes up. Ready guys, number two. This is the alternating footstep baseline test in three, two, one, All right, Whew. so we improved a little bit on that one. Whew. 54, so we double 54, we get 108. So underneath the 104, you're gonna write the 108 or whatever your score was. Whew. Yeah, effective, very simple, very effective. Whew. All right, guys, this is gonna be the last of the three. And then again, we do our math, take our average, and figure out our reps per second. <sighs> Good on you guys for staying with me this long. 
This is good. Working these basics over and over and over again, these moves will become second nature to you. Your jump rope training will dramatically increase. You'll be able to do the fun and fancier tricks, which we're going to teach you in the rest of the series. All right. And that's enough word salad for me. Ready, guys, last time? Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, I dropped down a little bit there. That was 53. So we double that and we get 106. So let's do our math. Whew. So we first got 104 plus the 108 plus 106. We're going to take that number, divide that one by three, and that's going to get your average. You're going to take that number and divide it by 30. So we got 3.5 this time. So Compared to the bounce step, I was moving a little bit faster than this. As you can tell by my heavy breathing, my perspiration, <laughs> whew, and the fatigue that's starting to set in. This gives you, again, another idea of how intense you're jumping. Because as you get better at this, your numbers are going to keep going up until they get to around the four, four or five rep range, which is pretty damn fast. Whew, okay. So last but not least, we're going to do the high knee step. Make sure you give yourself a little bit of time. Get your breathing back, have a quick sip of water, maybe blot yourself a little bit. All right, set up your timer. So again, we got 30 seconds work, a 60 second break in between, which we can stretch out if we need to. This one will be the most intense of the three because now we're gonna be requiring the most amount of energy to get the knee up and spin the rope nice and fast, okay? Okay, all right, I got my timer ready to go. Whew. I tell you guys, it doesn't have to be fancy to be effective. This definitely works. Okay, we've got a 30 seconds ready to go. All right. So again, we're gonna start with the knee nice and high so we know how high it's gotta go. And we go hard for those first 30 seconds. Take that 60 second break very seriously this time. Okay, I think I'm just about ready to do this. Hopefully you are too. At this point though, if this is your first time doing this and you haven't caught your breath yet, pause the timer, or sorry, pause the video, Take a breath until you can start nice and fresh so your heart isn't already jumping out of your chest. If you find that it is a little too intense, you can actually stop here, go back to the alternating foot step before moving on to the high knee step. If you haven't quite mastered any of these steps, you're gonna go back to the previous videos and master the bounce step, alternating foot step, and the high knee step. I think I just bought myself enough time to rest, so we're gonna get back into this. The high knee baseline test. <clears throat> Ready, in four, three, Two, one, let's go. Hope you like the shot of the top of my head there. So, for my score, 106. So, I wasn't lying when I said this is challenging, even for those of us that have been jumping a long time. Make sure you get your breath back. I'm actually realigning my chakras right now as well, so. <laughs> okay, guys. Whew. So I got the 106. I remember I wrote down my 106, just like you do too, except it's your score, not mine. Ready? In three, two, one, let's go.
<sighs> 53 again. Whew. So that's 106. At least we're staying in the close range there. Because this is not getting any easier, I tell you. Whew. If you aren't breathing this heavy, maybe you're not quite working hard enough just yet. But eventually over time you keep practicing, you'll get there too. And thankfully, we only have one more of these to do. Then we'll do our math, take our average, and move on with the rest of our day. Hoo wee! Chakra alignment. Now if you do need extra rest, definitely press pause in the video. Get your breath back before proceeding. Woo! Into the last one. I am definitely sweating. Very, very sweaty. Ah, all right. I should say I've got my glisten on. Ready? Three, two, last one. up a bit. Whew. That was 55 for total of 110. Awesome. So again, let's calculate. So first one, we had 104 plus 104 plus 110. Take that number, divide it by three. That gives you your average. That number divided by 30. Whew. And that got me 3.5. So just the same as my alternating footstep, which is great because I was able to get the same number of repetitions done or revolutions within the same 30 second time period with a much more intense step, which is the high knee step. Now, don't be discouraged if you don't get quite high numbers at the beginning. It just gives you something to measure against and work towards in the future. Because as you can tell, again, just upping the intensity by picking the knees up a little higher, whew, really gets the heart pumping. And this is how you train jump rope properly, effectively, and safely to avoid injuries. So guys, if you didn't quite get all the way to the 30 seconds before you had to stop or trip up, no problem. You can always get right back on the horse. And that's the beautiful thing about jumping rope is it doesn't matter how good you are. It just encourages you to keep getting better. All right, guys, go work on the baseline. Practice, practice, practice. Make sure it's effective, safe, and of course, make sure you're having fun with it. Till next time, guys, keep jumping.